Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, coming to you from Virtual Metro Connect 2021. Joining me today is my good friend, Tony Backer, the Great Plains Communications CTO. Tony, welcome to JSA TV. Uh, thank you. We are excited to have you here. So for our viewers who might not already know, tell us a little bit about Great Plains. Sure. Yeah, Great Plains is a Midwest fiber provider. We're headquarters in Nebraska. Our network, you know, covers 11 states as far west as uh, Colorado and as far as east as uh, Indiana. We have over 13,500 route miles of fiber. Uh, so we offer, you know, both dark and lit type services. We provide internet, wave, ethernet type services, voice, unified communication video and IP uh, TV services. Yeah, we also um, have a seven by 24 operations. And what that really means is, you know, we have a center that's provide ongoing support for our customers. Oh, I love that 24 seven customer support. Awesome. Uh, definitely something that folks are um, seeking, uh, particularly with uh, network security. Um, also recently, we noticed you launched an intelligent whole home Wi-Fi service. Tell us a little bit how that may benefit your customers. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, you know, the, the, the home host uh, Wi-Fi service, I mean, you know, um, as, as you know, most folks are, are, you know, through the pandemic has been working from home. And so this really, you know, really helps with coverage around the home. You know, especially with families who are, you know, working, someone in the study, you know, someone is in the basement, uh, someone is on a kitchen table, you know, kids are, you know, they may be down in the basement, you know, doing classes from home, you may be in a kitchen table doing, you know, doing your work remotely. Um, really, this provides, this service provides, you know, coverage throughout the home. And, you know, it has some kind of interesting capabilities in that you could, you know, monitor usage, you know, you could, you could allocate bandwidth, you know, so for example, um, if during the day, you know, you're in the study, um, and you're doing working from home, you, you want all the bandwidth, you know, or more bandwidth in that area. And then in the evenings, you're in the living room, you want to stream some videos, you know, you could, you know, use the bandwidth and uh, shift the bandwidth to the living rooms. And it has some uh, features like, you know, parental control, just to kind of control what the kids see. Oh, I love that. Love that. And um, as you mentioned, during this crazy pandemic, you know, especially right now, folks are working, learning, playing from home. Um, rural broadband has really become a critical initiative. Uh, how is Great Plains helping with this effort? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, rural broadband has become more and more popular, you know, especially most recently with the, uh, you know, the RDOF uh, um, <coughs> bids. Um, but, but Great Plains have been in the forefront of rural broadband for, for a number of years. We've participated, you know, with some of the federal and state programs like ACAM. You know, most recently, uh, we uh, deployed, um, you know, capability in fiber in markets in Nebraska, a program called the DD. And then there was another program called uh, the Next Level Grant out in, in, in Indiana, where we participated in. Um, we, we really, you know, Great Plains has been a, a company that's been around for you know over 110 years, and kind of grew up you know in in a lot of our rural com communities. If you ever driven through Nebraska, you'll appreciate the vastness of uh, uh, of, of Nebraska, <clears throat> and there's lots of rural communities there. So you know basically what we're really doing is continuing what we have done in the past. You know, continuing to add more and more fiber. I mean, uh, to, uh, to, to, the, to the network and to those communities and, and you know, add in technologies to increase bandwidth um, as bandwidth becomes, you know, uh, consumption becomes, you know, more and more on the internet, more and more increasing daily, more and more on the internet. 110 years, that was a jaw dropping, mic dropping moment. That's incredible. Um, so what's next for the next two years for Great Plains? Yeah, I mean, as we kind of look at, you know, the market and, and, you know, look at the overall, you know, industry, you know, our customers and opportunity, you know, the, the first thing that we're looking at is, you know, continue our market expansion. So we're looking at adding, 
you know, newer markets, you know, within our footprint. And then we're also investing in existing markets. So in some markets where, you know, we don't touch, you know, all, all the, the, the overall customer base, we're adding more fiber and expanding in those markets. Like for example, in Omaha, you know, we're building out in different, different areas, adding more and more fiber. Um, you know, so that's, um, you know, one area. You know, the second area is adding more, you know, products and capability, uh, you know, to the, to the network and the company. So adding things, you know, products like, um, you know, Cloud Connect and SD-WAN and managed services are things that we're working on as, as we kind of look at, you know, what's coming down over the next, you know, couple of years, you know, there's more and more demand for cloud-based uh, solutions, right? And the pandemic really um, exposed some of this, right? To some degree, the pandemic uh, sp sped up some of the technologies that we're using today, to, but it's remote working, you know, remote learning, you know, uh, streaming from wherever, whichever part of the home you're in. Um, you know, the, the pandemic has really, you know, sp sped up some of the technologies. Then I think the third area is around, um, you know, leveraging, you know, new software and capabilities for automation. Um, you know, I think as you, you know, as you grow the company, as you scale, you want to be as efficient. And so software and automation really becomes key, I think, over the next couple of years. Growth, cloud, automation, so many great things on the horizon for Great Plains in the next year or two. What do you see as the single biggest trend on the horizon when it comes to fiber-based tech solutions? Yeah, that's kind of an interesting question. You know, as I kind of think about that, I mean, there's, there's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, technology solutions out there. But I think I could probably narrow it down to a few things. One is, um, you know, fiber-based technologies, you know, deploying more fiber in the, you know, rural and metro areas is kind of foundation uh, for any kind of fiber, you know, kind of technologies. But I think, you know, if you think about the metro networks, you know, bandwidth, Increasing bandwidth and leveraging, you know, optical solutions. Um, you know, it just seems like not too long ago, uh, one gig was, you know, was the main bandwidth was discussed. Now we're talking about a hundred gig, right? To the metro, right? And now, you know, we talk with, with terabytes and petabytes, you know. Um, so I think leveraging optical technologies, you know, really, you know, grow more and more bandwidth. Another area that um, you know we've been participating on is really the leveraging fiber technologies for the last mile, right? So um, you know that uh, access network, as, as some call it. So uh, one of the technologies that's being you know deployed is is uh, PON or passive optical network, and so uh, there's a newer version of that uh, called XGS PON, and we're looking at you know leveraging that to deliver higher and higher speed to, you know, to our customers. Um, you know, uh, initially folks, you know, had like 10 meg and, you know, 100 meg, and now they're asking for, you know, in the home up to a gig, right? So we have to deploy these types of technologies on and XGS on to deliver those types of bandwidth. Well, I'll tell you, uh, being able to scale in this crazy broadband boom that we're experiencing right now, absolutely on the mind of, of many of our viewers. Tell us, where can our viewers go to learn more? Yeah, I think, um, you know, uh, our, our website is really a pretty good source of what, what we're, you know, what we're doing, right? So, you know, www.gpcom.com is, is our website. And, you know, on our website, you know, we cover, you know, enterprise, wholesale, residential businesses. We also have, you know, our network coverages there. And um, you know our products and solutions are on the, on the website, so that's usually a, a pretty good source of information um, on on um, on as far as Great Plains go. I mean, outside of Great Plains, there's there's lots of technology forum where we're at one right now, um, where you could you know learn more. There's a, lots of uh, webinars in the industry where you can learn more and more about what's going on in the industry. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Metro Connect, it's definitely a, a featured theme for sure. Uh, and one you're a, a continued thought leader on, which we appreciate, Tony. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcast in the special virtual Metro Connect 2021 edition. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.